That's right. We are making the Chicago style dog because she's she's a Chicago girl again. An entire mouthful of just like soury, spicy flavor. I can't believe you made four as if we're gonna be able to eat four. Two for each. One is a meal. Who's a meal? everyone let me zip up it's a little chilly today it's not it's 79 degrees <laughs> hi welcome back uh we're back with another episode of hot diggity dogs hot dog hot dog hot diggity dogs do 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 today's episode of hot diggity dogs is a celebration of my new home that's right. We are making the Chicago style dog because she's she's a Chicago girl again. Famously, I don't know if you knew, but famously, I went to college here and I lived here for four years from 2010 to 2014. And now I'm back 2021 to who knows? Infinity symbol. Who knows? <laughs> uh, there was a tornado a couple days ago, so maybe that'll take me out. Who knows? But anyway, we are here in Chicago and I figured, what better time than now to make the Chicago-style hot dog? So I did a little research on what the Chicago-style hot dog is and what makes it the way it is. But first, I want to do this super, super dumb bit. So here it is. Wasn't that funny? Anyway. We are making the Chicago dog, and if you uh, have never had a Chicago-style hot dog before, it is pickly. It is peppery. It is sour. It's a sour candy. Um, I think that's kind of like the main thing about it, the fact that it's sour and the fact that there's no ketchup on it. Ketchup is like not allowed on the Chicago-style hot dog. And um, Thrillist actually had an article that explained the history of the Chicago-style dog. Maxwell Street on the west side of the city became kind of like a hub for for immigrants. Um, and there were many kind of like, that's where you kind of went to like buy wares and stuff. And hot dogs were kind of like the economical food that kept the economy going in Maxwell Street. So um, a lot of German and Jewish uh, flavors were introduced because that were the, the immigrants of the time. So like that's where mustard and pickled stuff was introduced and then vendors started to add more of their like spicy sour flavors to kind of keep the appeal going um for newer ethnic groups that were moving into the neighborhood so i thought that was very very i was like oh that's really interesting if you think about it the chicago style dog is kind of like a it's a diaspora <laughs> that's my favorite word by the way but it's like a yeah it's like a testament to like how immigration kind of um, influences flavors of food, you know, like you, the, the food transforms as the people who consume it, uh, change in their palates. So I thought that was really cool. Who knew that the hot dogs would make such a, such an impact, but I, um, I wanted to do this right. So I had a Chicago style hot dog first from, uh, Portillo's, um, before I, I made one here at home, so that way I could make sure that I had all of the right flavor profiles and uh, the right textures and everything was correct in order to set up the Chicago style dog for my own home. So we're starting with, a, I'm using a Vienna, Vienna style, Vienna beef, Vienna style uh, as a brand for my Chicago dogs. Um, and I'm basically just boiling the dogs. I didn't want to do anything fancy. I kind of wanted to do a, an homage to like the classic way that you create the Chicago dog, which is just like boiling them in hot water.
And as we started to assemble it, um, you can see here like the key ingredients, right? We have the poppy seed bun that is like famously Chicago. We have onions. We have a Roma tomato sliced. Uh, we've got mustard, we've got celery seed, and we've got the Chicago style relish, which is neon green. On the Food Republic image, it's like, it specifically said neon green. And that's where you're seeing today. <laughs> Um, and then you have the little sport peppers, um, and then you have the pickle spears as well um, to put in. So it's it's really like, truly like a an entire mouthful of just like soury, spicy flavors that as a person who grew up in the Philippines eating a lot of sour food, <laughs> I lived, mama, and I loved it. I really, really like this hot dog. The first time I ever had a Chicago style hot dog was at a place called Super Dog, which is like a really famous Chicago, um, like hot dog place here. After we moved out of Chicago, like Portillo's blew up and like there was a Portillo's in like Phoenix where my mom is from. And so she was eating Chicago like dogs and Italian beefs and cake shakes. Uh, so much more than I was in Orlando. We literally in Orlando just had the Portillo's built like right before we left and it was supposed to open obviously, but the pandemic. So like still never had it there. But anyway, it's a really fun uh, hot dog to, to set up. It's really just putting all of these different ingredients together in one bun. Um, and so I highly recommend that you try if you wanna try something sour, you want to try something fun, go ahead and make the Chicago style dog. I'm pushing my hot dog down with a Goose Island Lemonade Shandy. Mmm. Okay. What? What is this? So... We're just gonna ignore the elephant in the room. <laughs> I used all the cheese on the diggity dogs. Well, Adam did, because he he's my production designer for the show. He did the props. So I had to use the um, uh, copyright Six. symbol. Oh. The copyright symbol for the, it's like a small C. So there you go. Okay, here it is. Chicago hot dog. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> I can hear the crunch from here. I can't believe you made four as if we're gonna be able to eat four. Two for each. It's a, one is a meal. Who's a meal? A meal to back. There is so much vinegar in this. So if you love vinegar, like me, it's great. The sport peppers are really spicy. The which one? The peppers. Oh. I think. The pepperoncinis? I think I got the spicy version and not like the sweet version, but it only had, there was only one in the store, so. That was a big bite. But there's so much going on here. Um, the sport peppers really do, do kick it up, but all the, the vinegar that you're getting from the pickles and the relish, it's just, it's complementing the, kind of beefy, just rich taste of the Frank. Le Frank. Le Frank. Okay, that's it. Cut, cut the cameras out. Dead ass. Cut the cameras. Do it. Yeah, I cut it. It's cut. Oh, thank God. This sucks! <laughs> Thank you for joining this episode of Hot Diggity Dogs, a part of the RJ Food Rocks universe. Um, if you enjoyed the show, please follow me on social media at RJ Food Rocks, um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, if you love the show and you want to show your support for $5 a month, you can help keep this computer running every month. You can join the Patreon where you can get a weekly video. Uh, and a monthly gift, a chance to win a monthly gift. And also just, you know, just a really easy way to just say, hey, I think you're doing a great job. Here's five bucks. Um, uh, you can also find me on Ampliverse. I do a lot of content over there. Check out the Ampliverse channel. And um, I will be continuing my journey to creating 
these hot dogs. I have done two now. I've got 38 left to go, so I'm excited to see where it will take me next. But hope you enjoyed this episode. If you um, have tried a Chicago dog before and want to try it at home, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think. We'll see you here next week with another video.